Okay, so we're going to look at something here. It's a ship that I did a while ago. Um, didn't really get too involved with it. It was brought in from uh, a larger package. Um, I'm just going to change the background color to something a little darker. Really make the ship stand out. And I'm going to hide the bounding box and the gizmo. But uh, this would be the ship. I uh, just made it rather quickly. Um, I'll get into how some of those effects are done. But uh, it's just got a diffuse map, a light map. Um, some of the objects are meant to be uh, selectable. But uh, remember before we mentioned how objects don't necessarily have the right uh, centering on them? Well, we can, uh, we can adjust that. Uh, the trick is to know where an object was. Um, you can just keep them like this for now. But there, you could place a pivot to mark where they were and then center them in the middle of the scene. I'm not going to get into that so much right now. To right now I just wanted to show an overview of how you can build up a complex scene really quite quickly. Um, let's just have a look here. Um, yeah, here's one of them here. We're going to load this. There we go. Um, we don't want to replace. In this case, we want to make uh, a normal add. Now the scene's going to load in and blow everything all the crazy. So let's grab our ship and we're going to fit the view on the ship. And there's a reason why I invented that fit view command. As you're going to see, <laughs> our, our scene is quite large. Very, very, very large in fact. Let's just increase my step size. Here we go. Now, let's bring our ship up into the world. Now you can see the uh, ship size might not really be what you were going for. It might be a little smaller, but uh, certainly uh, you have your, your ship in a scene now. Now, I'm not messing around with the sky, but uh, maybe I look at that and I say, hmm, that ship just looks a little bit too small, even though it's actually pretty close to scale. <laughs> um, what I can do here, one of the neat tricks to test your scale is um, the manipulator, the gizmo, won't... Um, auto size once it hits one. If you notice now it's getting bigger with the screen. That means that's one unit, one meter. So this ship is actually under scale by about a factor of five. So go to the ship route. Now we could go through and adjust the scales of all these things which already have scales in them. Uh, again there's lots of steps. I showed how to do this all before. Um, but we're going to take the, the root of the ship and we're going to go into the edit mode of scale and again we have to do uniform scale here and I don't want to bring it up to 5, I'm just going to bring it up to uh, about 3 let's have a look here, that looks like to be about 3 yeah, 2.8, close enough for me um, and now we have our ship. We've got it in the scene. It's looking a little better size-wise now. Um, let's get rid of that edit gizmo. Not too bad. Actually, let's have a look here like this. So we've got our, our ship. Yeah, not bad. Get very close. Yeah, that'll work for me. Now we don't have any fog on or anything like that. But uh, we all know 
fog can be done fairly easy. Just select our camera, camera, and we're going to put the fog in at about, uh, well, we're going to say, Okay, and use a simpler fog. We're going to use a, a weird fog color. <laughs> and actually, for fog color, we'll add that to custom and make the background color the same as the fog color. And uh, that'll work there. Set the near color to 500. We can actually set the close. Let's bring the fog in a little closer than what we've used in the past. 5,000 kilometers. 5 kilometers. Okay. So we've now set our uh, our fog is now set to work at 5 kilometers. So the world does blur out you're looking around the ship. Um, let me just uh, get rid of the user interface. There's nothing worse than trying to see something with the user interface. Now the frame rate I'm recording at, unfortunately, you guys are probably seeing this very choppy. So I'll apologize for that now. But uh, that would be how you could very quickly and easily put a ship in a scene, or a scene around a ship, so, I mean, there's not much detail in that way, but, what I'm going to do now is, uh, bring back the, uh, interface, and we've got our ship, but we really want to set it to the root of something, so, take our ship, set the parent. Now it's going to ask you to pick a parent because I didn't preset it using that other system. And set the parent. Okay, so now the root contains everything. Now, when we go to save this, you can come up here to save as. Now that's the main folder that held that, that land. Let's make a new folder. Scene 1. One and done. You want to save all those textures? Yep, it just collected everything in that scene. And we can go even one further. We can actually take that camera, pick the parent, put it in the root. Okay, so the camera with all those settings, and you can go ahead and save that. Yeah, I want to replace it. And uh, there we go. It's now been uh, it's now been saved. Um, you could maximize your view and uh, you could maximize the view and just use. Uh, the full screen, but right now, for the purpose of this demo, I'll just do it in uh, the reduced screen. Anyhow, it's uh, running on about 10 minutes here, so I'm going to wrap it up and uh, leave you with that.